Welcome back. Well, yes, Bishop Isaac Idahosa joins us next. He is the vice presidential candidate of NMPP. Good morning. Thank you for coming on today. Thank you so very much. Well, I just wonder how um, to how your experience has been now, because not many knew that you did anything politics whatsoever up until your announcement. But so give us, tell us your experience now. How, because you're still going about your pastoral duties, I reckon, and then politicking as well. How is that coming on for you? Well, not quite easy. From coming from the background of a pastor for such a long time, 33 years pastoring a single congregation. And of course, you do know that uh, pastoring has to do with people too. Uh, we pastor politicians, we pastor all manner of people from different fields, different backgrounds. And so you preach by inspiration, but you, you, you manage people by knowledge, by human management. By, so you have to know how to manage people. So aside being a pastor, that the Holy Spirit will have to do all the job of inspiration, of restoration, people, you have to know how to manage people. So if you've been able to manage people successfully for 33 years, so we'll call that to bear in politics. Do, do you sometimes find it a bit odd or like fish out of water when you're used to delivering a certain message to a certain audience and they receive it in a certain way and then you come into this realm, this terrain, wherein people are very pessimistic about politicians. Hey, be careful what a politician tells you. If he tells you this in the day, you have to be sure. How, how do you combine all of that? I'm sure even some say, I hope you have not lost your anointing. <laughs> and um, Bishop, be very careful. Are you sure God called you into politics? And are you sure this? Are you sure that? And how will you cope? And um, they tend to like, when I say, well, you see, I stand by the truth. They said, oh, how far can you go with the truth? So all those questions come to bear. But you see, uh, it's a matter of decision. Once you've made up your mind to throw yourself into the ring, I won't start down to count the cost. And uh, with your singleness of purpose and sincerity of heart, you go a long way. How are you managing the perception where people think, look, NMPP win the presidency? They don't see a path to victory. They think, they think more like NMPP wants to perhaps consolidate in a certain region, probably up north or northwest, but they don't see them going all the way to winning the presidency. In fact, some refuse to believe that NMPP They never saw Donald down. Trump was coming. But that's a different scenario because he uh -huh. was a Republican. He was a national, he had national spread. Yeah, NMPP is not like that. It's not like that, but it can be. You see, there's always a first time. I would always prefer people undermining us. Like I did mention <clears throat> earlier part of this, uh, this dispensation that we're about to spring a surprise, and it's already very glaring, and it's, it's being seen by all. NMPP is not, just come, it's not in there to blend in. It's in it to win it. Now, we've been able to do a whole lot, and then a surprise is coming. And when I say surprise is coming, based on our input, impact, our negotiations, our conversations, our from place to place moving grassroots work, people identify with those who do what we call a showmanship thing. But we don't do that. We converse for, converse for votes, and we do that grassroots level. On the 17th of this month, we're going to have our first rally here in Abuja, and from there we'll not spread. So, on the 17th of this month? Of this month. Uh, so you're waiting until the 17th before you... Is it kick off your We're presidential... We're going to flag off the presidential campaign. The presidential campaign. The other, although the, otherwise, we've been doing uh, uh, campaign offices opening here and there. And of course, that's another way to let people know you are there as mm. you let them know what you have in mind for Nigeria. So it's interesting how, I mean, my colleague already mentioned that a lot of people did not know that you were into politics. In fact, I had not even, I, I know that, you know, there are many pastors. Um, I didn't know you until your name was mentioned, and then we all had to quickly go online, who is Bishop Idahusa, um, you know, and to find out who exactly uh, you were. Uh, so for a number of people, you know, when it comes to presidential candidates and their vice presidential candidates, uh, they always look to see a match, uh, a, a known presidential candidate and at least a, a known vice presidential candidate who brings something to the table. 
as my colleague mentioned, you're not exactly known in the world of politics. You're not a pastor who was known to be playing politics before. Did you just join the NNPP? No, no anyway, the NNPP had been for 20, 21 years, but then it was revigorated about eight, nine months ago. Mm -hmm. I've been very close to my principal. Oh. Even before now. Okay. Yeah, we've been, I've loved, I've loved his leadership style mm -hmm. over the years. Many, 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 many years. Oh, okay. But you are not a member of any political party? No, until NNPP. Until NNPP. Yes. Oh, oh, so you were just a pastor minding your church and being friends with him? Being friends with him, very close, uh, closely so. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, you see, like I did say, politics. Everybody runs politics. Yeah, even, uh, I know, of course. I mean, even So in when you are bringing in larger politics, form, larger scale, yes. is what you're talking about. So I'm so looking at what demographic, yes. you know, your, your, your principal is actually hoping that you'll be able to speak to. I know that one of the things that has been a bit interesting in this, uh, I was going to be interesting in this politics, to see what, re what role religion plays, mm -hmm. which is one area where you at least will have an idea. But so far, so good. It does appear that can uh, that's the Christian Association of Nigeria, mm. uh, you know, also wants Christians to play a key role in these elections. Uh, would you say that the manner in which uh, can, I know they have been inviting presidential candidates to come and talk about their plans. They have their own agenda, which uh, they also want whoever comes into power to make sure that they are focusing on. Um, would you say that so far, so would you have been able to convince um, members of CAN that, you know, maybe you being a vice presidential candidate to the candidate of the NNPP uh, is the way CAN should be looking at. After all, you're one of them. Yeah, I'm one of them, but that's not all about it. Mm -hmm. It's about we must get to a point where we don't mind your religion, your ethnic background, to be able to see what you, what impute you are bringing on the table. Of course, yes, I've met with the CAN, with the PFN, Beyond that, what we have in our manifesto decides and determines what can we tilt towards. And uh, when we begin to go beyond religion, the country will be better off for it. So you're asking people to look beyond religion right now? Look beyond religion, look beyond where you are from, and find out the contents, what you have got, what you want to offer, mm. especially looking at antecedents of my principal, what he has been able to offer mm. when he was two-time Colonel Governor, was Minister of Defense, was a Senator, was Speaker House of Rep, was an Ambassador. So all these things called to bear. Mm -hmm. Not about picking him for him being a Christian or being a pastor or a bishop. It cuts across. I have people who love to see me involved, even from the North, from, for all of us. I'm looking at the, if I were to go with the antecedent of pastors, Maybe save the vice presidential candidate. Uh, I'm a vice president right now, uh, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, mm -hmm. who is a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Uh, not a lot of pastors have done well in politics by themselves. Um, is it uh, Pastor Chris Okotie? Mm. I'm sure you know him very well. Is it uh, um, uh, Pastor Tunde Bakari, who mm. also tried to be presidential candidate on the platform of the APC? Uh, it doesn't look like pastors really understand the political terrain. They understand church, yes, they have a good following in church, but that following doesn't seem to translate to votes or to clout when it comes to politics. What do you think causes the disconnect? Mm, we must be able to strike an equilibrium. But you see, like for me, for instance, it's not like what I looked forward to. It sufficed me to be Dr. Concoso's friend. About this time, Salah break, if you want me to give a little background how I came in. He called me, Bishop, where are you? I said, Lagos. He said, could you come to uh, uh, Kano so we can have a uh, Salah celebration together? I got into Kano and I, met, I was greeted by a large crowd of people. The Salah time, he does that every Salah to feed people. To... So he asked me to greet the people. Of course, you know, I speak the outside very well. He said, Bishop, how are you going to greet them in Hausa or in English? I said, Hausa. They were going on and everywhere went agog. And he never had to tell me what was on his mind. At about 12 midnight that Sunday evening, he called me and said, that was about <clears throat> a week to the closure of the portal. That's INEC. He said, Bishop, uh, please help me source out for a running mate from the south-south. Then I had to call on the fathers of faith. 
They said, this is what I've been saddled on me to help us out for NMPP, uh, a running mate for Dr. Conquasso. And everybody had been neck deep, just a week to the closure of Porter. Porter. So I called on a few, name whoever, I mentioned them. So it was on a Monday now, I was not able to find one. The only one we got said he had a just limited time to be able to uh, go and seek for cancer about that. And then that was a Tuesday already. So he said, ah, Bishop, on Wednesday I should come to his house at Maitama so I can join in the screening of uh, screening. That's how he left it. Little did I know it was me that was going to be screened. So I got there and here was Buba Galadima, Elder Buba Galadima and all national chairman, chairman and what have you got. And he said, um, they said I should sit down. I sat. So if you are to be chosen as the vice presidential candidate running mate to His Excellency Kwankoso, what's your vision for Nigeria? I said, is that why you brought me? Nobody told me I was going coming here for screen. I thought I was going to join the screening committee as a friend. I said, well, if I am to be, it's running made. I don't have any vision. Hence, I'm a supporting striker. Because if I have a vision and I'm bringing my vision to his, then the vision comes to bear. It is his vision, his mind, his thoughts will have to sit down and run minds together to run what he has, and then we'll see how we go on. Long story short, then I was asked to bring, uh, produce my CV, my resume. I said, or cry out loud, I don't know the last time, I, I can't remember anything. This, that, oh, I, mean, <laughs> they say, I say, I'm not looking for a job. They say, you don't have it on your phone. I say, I'm not looking for a job. I'm not looking for a job. I just came to say hello and do some last stuff with my friend. They said, now you must have to go to Lagos to get your... Then I began to crack my brain. Primary school, when did I really... It, it became, because it was not what I look forward to. I only look forward to... Dr. Konkoso, because he had asked me a couple of times, should I become president? What do, would you want? I said, I just want to remain as your friend. When I had to call my wife, my senior sister had got my certificates, and then my wife, I called, I, ran, I, I rushed back to Lagos, got it. At about 9 p.m. on Wednesday, my name was flying all around. On social media, that was Isaac, that was, I said, ah. then I called on my principal. So what's happening? My name is all over. He said, come on, talk, oh, yeah, okay, but she said, just forget about that, just go to bed. I said, okay, sir. Thursday was worse. Everybody, everywhere, my phone was beeping and ringing. Then at about 2 p.m., he now called and said, um, Excellency, that's the first time he mentioned that, to qualify me that way. He would always say, Bishop. Now, Excellency, congratulations. My hands were shaking, my legs were wobbling. I said, congratulations, what? He said, you are my running mate. I said, is that how it does happen? It, this is how it happens. Mm -hmm. So this is the story. Mm -hmm. How have your church members taken to this? Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they are glad in because, you see, it's not enough to, to pray. We watch, get involved. So I have been getting involved. And I, I, I share some philosophies, some mindsets with my principal. Now, you know, the church has to deal with transformation of people's minds and helping people to, to find their bearing in life through Christ and some other mind empowerment. So bringing this to bear, honestly, I enjoy what I do. But I, I don't expect that you will expect that everybody in, in church, in your church, will vote for NMPP. No, 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 no. I, I'm not even pressing there. towards that. <clears throat> no, if you begin to do that, then something is wrong. Let them know what you have. And of course, I've got different uh, membership who, are, who belong to different parties. And when we come to church, it's church. When we get to politics, it's politics. So uh, but it's not like where you coerce people or... No, that's not how it goes. Well, Bookie drove past uh, Redeem this morning on her way to work in Lagos, so maybe she might have picked up something she wants to ask you. Bookie, go ahead. All right, thank you, Chamberlain. Well, driving past Redeem has very little to where I'm headed with Bishop this morning. Good morning, Bishop. Congratulations. Well, it's a bit uh, belated. Thank you so much. But all the same, uh, there's been a lot of talk about the choice of vice presidential candidates. It has raised not a little dust, you know, since presidential candidates began to choose their uh, VPs, uh, their vice presidential running mates. Do you think that uh, you may have been chosen because of um, your first calling and perhaps that makes you 
malleable to the interests and dispositions of um, what a president would require? Anyways, to start with, my principal believes in the drive for equity, fairness, and justice. He wanted to balance his ballot, and so he would have loved to have a Christian face on that ballot. Like I did mention to you how I came in. Notwithstanding, you can be a Christian and be of an empty head. You have got nothing to offer. He must have seen me and studied me over time, how we relate. Uh, your words are you and they, they drive your conduct and your actions. To have seen that, yes, I have, I, I have fitted. He'd be getting from uh, Governor Wiki. Well, so, so, so gracious to us that once we come to his ter territory, he's going to ensure we have the logistic support, the security support, and whatever support we we'll need. But what about the votes? The votes. The lifeblood of the whole, this whole thing. Uh, well, one who is giving you support, giving you logistic support. Logistics giving, is different from the vote. Uh, but you see, it's part of it. One who is saying, welcome to my home, simply means he accepts you in his home. But time shall tell what that will translate to. But he also welcomed uh, the Labour Party candidate. The, that's what he has to do. He said, well, you were a governor. You were a governor. I am a governor. Coming to my state, logistics security, and what you need to succeed here will be given to you. Didn't your principal say, well, um, Your Excellency, look, what about the votes? Maybe in, in quiet control. Yeah, you, you're, not, you're not allowed to talk about that in the open? You call him my principal. And there was a time they got into one small office, and I'm not qualified to be there. Whatever they must have discussed, only time will reveal. But is he keeping things away from you already? No. You're, you're supposed to be the number two. No, 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 but he, he went, uh, I mean, Chamberlain, you are saying this because you need to say that. I'm saying that there's a time you separate uh, offices to discuss, then he comes to tell me. But I'm not in the preview to now begin to mention to you what they discussed when they were both alone. But naturally, you expect votes from Rivers. I expect votes from Rivers. I pray for votes. I pray God convinces the G5 to tilt towards our direction. We're asking them just to do the needful. We are the right party to be voted for. And they know that Konkoso can perform, and he will perform. So I appeal to Governor Wiki and his friends, the G5, the Integrity Group, to consider NMPP to, to give with their votes. All right, Bishop Isaac Idahosa, Vice Presidential Candidate for the NMPP. Thank you for coming on and all the best. Thank you so very much. We will be back in a moment. Stay with us.